Today, I'm going to be taking my new Ibis Ritmo V2 out on the trail. As beautiful as this bike is to look at, it's even more fun to ride. So we're going to get it out, have some fun, talk a little bit about initial impressions. And I'm here with my friend Ashley. We are doing a little loop out here in West Sedona. So uh, without further ado, let's start on bottom out. Alright, I have to say it has been really fun switching to the medium, especially because I rode my small Ritmo AF a ton right before this one came to really compare the two sizes. And I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about sizing um, in a little bit. I gotta be, gotta be on my toes on this trail. Just a couple spicy spots. I'm getting my suspension fully dialed. Yeah, that's what's spicy. Of all the parts I ride, that probably scares me the most. One, one. Yeah. Ooh, that was like a track stand. <laughs> Scrail is so hard to decide what tr what gear to be in. I'm really loving the size medium on this Ritmo. The biggest difference that I noticed is that my center of mass and the bike center of mass are a lot closer together. So usually if I'm on a size small with my long limbs, I'm kind of like balancing the bike underneath me and then I'm up here balancing. It takes a little more thought to be aggressive and get low on the bike. And it's me and this bike, you know, with our center mass is closer together. It took me a while to get used to the difference in balance, um, but it's gotten better and better the, the last couple times I've been taking it out. But it is very intuitive having, having that feel and it makes me feel a lot more stable you know, downhill, like tech and chatter and all that stuff. But even on the climbs, just those small little movements that sometimes on a, on a smaller bike can kind of get you off balance. That, that balance is a little more intuitive and I can, even though it's a heavier bike, I can kind of cruise through some of those tricky techy climbs. So it's kind of hard to describe. And um, there's still advantages to going with the small, but I'll uh, talk more about that when I do the full review on this bike, but I'm really happy with the medium and loving it. It does feel like longer and more stretched out in a good way. It did take me a little bit of time to get used to when I'm shifting my weight forward, especially on a climb that it's like, okay, you got to get that just a little more movement to get up to the front of the bike. Um, but now that I'm getting more used to it, it's awesome. I think on the small, it feels a little more trialsy um, and twitchy. It's easier to do smoother movements being on this bike. Yeah. This trail is fun. It's a, it's a slog. It's very like up and down tech. A lot of it is kind of slow speed, awkward stuff. That was loose. <laughs> Hi, but we made it. This one I'm walking, it's, it's a commitment move, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna save this one. Okay. <laughs> that looks like they had to rebuild that. Looks a little bit different than last time I saw it. All right, so that's the end of the the big moves. Now it's just kind of a little bit of a up and down, not a ton of tech climb back up to connect with Gardner. Still dialing in my suspension, so we're just gonna catch a couple of 
Hadley XC trails out to kind of further north and west and catch a trail called Axis. And then Axis is just moderate tech, but it's got a couple of fun sections that are a little bit faster. And they've got some good G outs coming across the washes. So it's a great place to bring a newer bike um, and get a little bit of feedback for how your suspension setup is coming. But I will say like some of those steep steppy things on bottom out, I do love having the longer wheelbase on this. It just, it is so nice. Feels a little less like I'm making some of those by the skin of my teeth. And oh my gosh, these ass guys, they're so freaking heavy. I don't know what I'll keep on this bike in the long term. They're so heavy, but oh, I so enjoy the grip. I've already made a few uh, adjustments to my shock. That's kind of where I've been putting most of my focus and it's feeling a lot better just getting all those settings right. Probably ought to start paying a little more attention to my fork at this point. body positioning on this bike is really quite fantastic for the climbs but I do think if I could shave a pound or two off of this bike that would be a game changer for me on the pedally sections of trail like this and that'd be so nice here in West Sedona where a lot of the rides are kind of pedally and then there's short techie trails out here that you can connect to I need a bike that can do both. Also working on climbing some bigger rock ledges. So I think that a bash guard is probably in my future as well. All right, All right we're hopping on Axis. This is the fun part. Woo! Oh, yeah, that was a hard bottom out. That's what this trail is good for, though, is helping you feel what's going on. You know, people always talk about feeling in the bike versus on the bike. And I will say with the medium, I feel a lot more in the bike. There's another bottom out. Nice having adjustment for high and low speed compression, high and low speed um, rebound. Just fine tune that ride so much. Ooh. I'm working on a the wheel lifts a little bit on this bike still. I rode my Ripley for so long and just kind of got used to the feel, the body position and the timing of doing wheel lifts on that. So there's a little bit of a adjustment period. I was afraid it wasn't gonna feel precise being on a bigger bike. Rip, that was awesome. Yeah. And when I first climbed on it, I was like, is this a medium? Because it didn't feel giant. The longer I ride it, the more I start to feel the differences. But yeah, it doesn't feel ridiculous. Which should be peace of mind if you're like me and you're kind of in between sizes but nervous about sizing up. Especially if you got long limbs like I do. So I feel like on the downhills, really enjoying feeling more like I'm 
sitting down in the bike rather than hovering up above it, balancing myself and my bike separately. And on the climbs, in the same sense, it kind of, the bike feels like it's coming with me better. Well, Ashley, you cleaned bottom out on your first ride. How was it? I wouldn't say I cleaned it, but it was <laughs> super fun. Kind of messy and chunky. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah that I'll one's... definitely be back. That one is a lot of fun and definitely like the more you write, more frequently you write it, you kind of find the flow a little bit more, but it's fun. It's one of those ones that keeps you on your toes. So you're yeah. awesome. I definitely like lost the trail a couple times in the wash. <laughs> yeah, it's easy to do that for sure. Just as kind of an aside, I thought I would show you guys that I got a tall water bottle in this medium frame, which is pretty cool. I think this is a 26 ouncer. Um, which is awesome anytime you can fit a taller bottle on your bike. And one of the things that I'm trying to work on, I mean, there's always a million things I'm working on, but is getting a little more comfortable controlling my speed on steeper um, rock rolls and things like that. And this bike is just such a cozy one for it. I just feel like I'm tucked in there. Being Having the longer wheelbase kind of smooths things out a little bit. It makes all the movements just smoother and less like jittery compared to when I was riding small. I'm really loving the way that I'm positioned on this bike. It is such a great feeling on the climbs. It's a lot easier to, to boogie up the climbs on the bike this size than I thought it would be. And, um, but you still feel like in the bike and, and nice and aggressive and a little more stretched out for some of the faster higher speed stuff so i'm loving it excited to get a full review out pretty soon and uh and then maybe you know make a few little custom tweaks to this bike and make it a great sedona shred machine thanks so much for watching uh if you want to help my channel out just watching my videos and liking helps and that doesn't cost you a dime if you're not already subscribed please subscribe if you'd like to do a little bit more consider using some of my partner links like the club ride link below or my competitive cyclist link or you could consider becoming a patron thank you all so much for watching really excited to ride this bike this year get dusty <laughs>